Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am here today to plan in my Walmart Pen and Gear Traveler's Notebook, which I use as a journal. It has a Dollar Tree insert in it, and I've been keeping it in this jewel box pouch. Um, I'm not sure if these pouches are still available. I believe there is a different style available, but the planner fits perfectly in here. I also have my um, Hobonichi Weeks in here, which I'm not using. I just kind of put it in here <laughs> and never put it on the shelf. So I've been keeping this in the pouch to try and keep it clean. So, and also I'm not sure about what my camera is looking like or how it's recording right now. Um, I had a little issue <laughs> with it it kept giving me errors so i had to do a factory reset and it's been so long since i made all the adjustments i'm not sure what adjustments i made so i have to do it gradually um so let's go on and get into this this is the dollar tree insert which is actually a dollar tree planner i'm using it as an insert let's take that off slide this out I still have not done anything in there very bad so the week that we are working well this is last week I think this is one of my favorite spreads I don't know what it is but I just really like pumpkins and this is I had the little flip up journaling area and so yeah this is last week so we're moving on to this week which is the last full week in September the 21st through the 27th and I'm going to be using stickers mainly from the seasonal pages I do have a discount code with them it is Rochelle 10 and the website is the seasonal pages.com they offer printable and physical stickers so of course i opted for printables and this is the fall floral garden sticker sheet so this is how it actually comes i mean minus the border that i put around it for cutting on the cricket but the designs this is how it actually comes so what i usually do is pull the things out that i know i would want to use multiples of and make my own sheets so that's what i've done i've taken this flower and this leaf and this flower and put them all on a sheet together because I know I want multiples. And I don't know why they, they came out so large <laughs> when I moved them from one to the other, but they did. Um, and then I have some more. So I pulled this flower and this greenery, these and made my own sheet okay so now i have plenty to work with from with that and i thought that those would go with one of these floral washi tapes from simply gilded i think it was more this one even though this is very pinky the flowers I thought it would look okay together so I'm gonna use this and probably mix it in with something else oh and then I had already printed this before so I have this these left over so I'm gonna use those and I may use some stickers from the happy planner botanicals as well as free spirit because all of those color schemes seem to go together so and then I'm also going to probably incorporate the black with it so I don't think we'll be using any of the green not this time maybe next time we'll do something with the green okay so let's get started so it's really early here I think it's just a little after seven. I've been up since around five. It's Tuesday morning, so I'm very late with my planning. Okay, so yeah, I am a little late 
doing this I don't know where I left off I had to make an adjustment to the camera because it was looking really pink um and I think I had it at the wrong speed anyway uh, moving right along <laughs> so let me see I need to determine what I want to put in the header and I've noticed that this free spirit does have some nice header options Ooh, and there's one right off the bat I like that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and do this. International Day of Peace. That was Monday. So, the reason I've been a little MIA is just because I have not been feeling that great. And without getting into too many details, I do not have the thing that's going around, <laughs> at least to my knowledge, I don't have it. Um, I just have an, another condition. And then to top all that off, I've had some pain in my back. And if you know anything about that, um, it's like it's kind of difficult to do anything I pull, I cut that into that too short but it's gonna have to stay like that um so that kind of limited what I was able to do so I was able to continue doing my micro spreads but that was about all I was able to do and I'm not sure about this ooh I might have to take that black off. And yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to get rid of the black. I don't like it. It doesn't look quite right. Um, so yeah, there's no big mystery. I wasn't really taking a break from YouTube. I just wasn't able to do YouTube. I just didn't have the energy available to be in a craft lab. But luckily, the weather seems to have taken a turn for the better. It's not so hot and miserable. And did I do that? when I pull that tape off so and I'm starting to feel better um, fall and winter are my times to thrive I don't do well in summer and spring so when the seasons change and this happens to be the first day the first official day of fall I just, I don't know what happens. I just start to feel so much better. I wake up earlier in the morning and right away I have more energy and I can just get things done and it's more focused or whatever. I don't know if it's because I was born in the winter or what it is, but summer and spring are a total struggle for me. That's not tearing right. Let's try it on the other way. There. So this is probably going to be gag worthy for the floor, uh, for the people that don't like florals, because this is over the top florally. Should I do what I did last week? 
I think I will. Let me see. How did I go about that? It's going to end up having a lot of bulk right here, though, if I keep doing that. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. So, how did I even do that? And I just had a piece of sticker paper too. It's a little beat it up. Let's make it work. I need a pencil. And I'm still not 100%. So, and I've noticed that even with just doing my micros, when I don't feel good, I can tell in the things that I create <laughs> so it's probably not a good idea for me to be creating anything when I'm just not a hundred percent I still feel a little tired and foggy mm -hmm. but what I'm doing is I'm marking the height of this three times and then we're gonna mark the width one time And then I'm going to trim that out with my paper trimmer. Okay, it's getting to be too much stuff on the desk. Let's see if I can do this to the side so you can see a little better. Even though I can't see. So I'm lining that my mark up with the wire this is awkward um, <laughs> cutting like this and then I'm gonna go to my third dot and line that up with the wire and make sure that my edge is butted up against this edge on the paper trimmer that's how you get a good straight cut Hold this down and trim. Now, it's probably not as awkward if you <laughs> use your paper trimmer the way you need to use it. Oh, and we're going to use it to score. I'm going to have to do that the right way. So, let's see. I'm going to score on each of those tick marks. I'm going to use my Dollar Tree. I'm using my Dollar Tree stylus to do it. So I'm just lining my little tick mark up right where the crevice in the paper trimmer is, where the blade goes through. And I'm just gonna lightly score. Then I'm gonna move it over to my next tick mark and do the same thing. Oop. I poke through, but pressing too hard. So don't oop, did it again. See, maybe I should use the bigger ball. Let's use the bigger, the bigger end. So I poked through two times, but that does not cause an issue. Let's see. I'm gonna close those holes back up with my bone folder. Rub those out and they're gone okay so that was a lesson learned don't use the tiny tiny end use the larger end it's less likely to poke a hole in your paper okay or your sticker paper whatever all right so then we got to do a z fold so fold up fold the bottom up fold the top back this the top where we folded it back is going to be make our flap these two pieces will be stuck together, these two, and then this will stick to the page like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. And 
you might not want to take the whole backing off at once it's probably better just to take off the section that you're working with first so I'm going to put my two oh. get my pokey tool to pull help pull the backing off but I'm going to put the two pieces that make my flap together first so I'm just going to take the backing off for that first as much as possible and I'm sure you could do a, a neater job of this I guess I could just take the scissors and cut it off instead of trying to tear it see not a hundred percent okay so I'm just gonna lay this down sticker back to sticker sticky side to sticky side I guess and then I want to peel the rest of the backing off and apply to my weekend And I'm using the black line at the bottom as my guide to line it up. And then I'm going to use some of these to decorate with, along with my seasonal pages stickers. Let's see. Maybe I need some of these to offset the pink that's there. Fill in the gaps. Okay, let's see. I think I'll use these for the days of the week. Um, how am I gonna do that? Let's start with Sunday and Saturday. this up a little bit so so much of it won't be covered up by the day of the week there we go and then this day today
This is dates and holidays and I've received several questions about um, which book this is. I don't think they sell this one anymore. I think they have one that's similar and I think it's one of the memory keeping um, sticker books, but I don't know. So I'm about to date this wrong. Yeah, 21st. I should know that. But do I want to put it next to it? Because is that going to be visible and does it matter? Let's put it next to it. This will just not have to show very well because I'm not moving that flower. Um, so we have 26 from up here. And I think I need to do something here. It's a little desert right there. <laughs> we have a sticker desert. There's something missing. I don't know what it is, but let's keep going. Okay. Is it this? Or this. I don't know why I'm so partial to these washies lately. Or this. I've been using these a lot lately. I think I'm going to use. Okay, so this is super busy, <laughs> but I like it, and I will want to journal on this, so let's see, I'm going to put, I should have put this on here, that would have been pretty, is it too late, I'm going to put it on the inside, we can get some prettiness when we open it up. So I don't know if I want a doll on here because <laughs> it's super busy with all the florals. And if you didn't know, I put up a video yesterday um, with a reveal of new stickers or new releases, not just stickers, um, coming to the jewel box. So I'll put a link in the iCard and in the description box below if you want to go check that out. This is my Coco's Vision stuff. Maybe I'll use her because she is very neutral. I'll come back to her. Her with the green pants. Her. I was kind of saving her for some washi that I have coming from... Oh yeah, she's perfect. <laughs> I was kind of trying to save her first to use with some washi that I have coming from Cookie Sticker Co. But she goes with this perfectly. So let's do it. I need to get a glue pen and glue down these stickers that keep popping up off of the washi tape. Okay. So, I think we are done. Um, I have to find a glue pen and glue down. Let's see, I got one of those Eileen's Tacky Glue pens. Since it didn't work for the foil, maybe it'll work for this. So I got two of these. They came in a two pack. I think this is the one that I'd already used. Let's see if anything comes out. Scrap paper. Yep. Okay. So 
So I'm going to take this little glue pen. <laughs> um, and make a mess. I got this on Amazon. And I will make sure that it's in my shop so you can find it easily and my Amazon shop is linked in the description box below and I, I got a comment about like, they wish someone wished that I would um, share what I'm using like pens and paper I guess I don't know but if you didn't know I do have an Amazon um, influencer shop or I guess that's what they call it and if I use something and I like it and it's available on Amazon I have put it in the shop so and if not just ask me and I'm happy to tell you where I got it or what it is I try to remember to tell everything but like with the happy planner sticker books I yeah I have a hard time with that so remembering which what came from what so anywho enough rambling hopefully that won't make my pages stick together I think I'll just leave the planner open until I'm sure that it's dry so those came in handy after all all right let's pop this baby back in It's not so bad. It, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. How did we do? What do you think? Okay. It's kind of a glare. That's the only thing about those stickers. They do glare quite a bit. I think this is a little empty, but maybe as the week goes on, I'll figure out what to do down there. But anyway, so that's it for this week's spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey for live craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.